Artificial intelligence does not run on algorithms. It does not run on code. AI runs on electricity. And for the first time since the AI boom began, power, not chips, is emerging as the most serious constraint facing NVIDIA and the entire AI ecosystem. Over the past two years, NVIDIA solved the compute problem. GPU supply scaled. AI clusters grew from thousands to hundreds of thousands of chips. Entire data centers were redesigned around accelerated computing. But now, the equation is breaking. According to industry estimates, AI data centers are facing a 44 gigawatt electricity shortfall by 2028. To put that in context, that is roughly the output of 40 large nuclear power plants, power that does not exist on today's grid. This is why NVIDIA is hosting a power and energy summit. And make no mistake, this is not a side conversation, it is an acknowledgement. Jensen Huang has repeatedly said that AI factories are the new industrial plants. And industrial plants don't run on optimism. They run on massive, reliable, always-on power. We are already seeing the consequences. Data centers that are fully built, but cannot connect to the grid, interconnection queues stretching five to seven years, hyperscalers signing long-term power contracts at premium prices. In some regions, electricity costs have doubled, while in others, projects are being delayed indefinitely. This is no longer theoretical. The AI boom has collided with physical reality. But here's the key insight for investors. When a trillion-dollar industry hits a bottleneck, capital doesn't disappear. It rotates. The next phase of the AI revolution will not be defined solely by faster chips. It will be defined by who can generate power, move power, power, and stabilize power at scale. In this video, we're breaking down three stocks positioned to benefit directly from NVIDIA's next bottleneck, because in the next chapter of AI, power becomes the platform. First on the list, and the most immediate beneficiary of NVIDIA's power dilemma, is GE Vernova, ticker symbol GEV, a company quietly transforming from a legacy industrial name into one of the most critical enablers of the AI era. GE Vernova sits at the heart of the electricity problem because it builds the infrastructure that turns fuel into electrons at scale. Gas turbines, grid equipment, and electrification systems are not optional for AI data centers. They are essential. When hyperscalers need hundreds of megawatts quickly, gas turbines are often the only solution that can be deployed in months instead of years. That reality is now driving a surge in demand. At its recent investor day, GE Vernova confirmed that earnings growth above 30% annually through 2028 is not an aspiration. It's embedded in current demand. Its power segment, which includes gas turbines and long-term servicing contracts, is targeting mid-teens revenue growth while expanding EBITDA margins from single digits to over 20% by 2028. Meanwhile, its electrification segment is growing even faster, boosted by grid expansion and transformer demand tied directly to AI data center interconnections. One overlooked catalyst is the company's recurring service revenue. Every turbine installed today comes with decades of high margin maintenance, parts, and upgrades. That creates a compounding earnings stream that behaves more like software than traditional manufacturing. It's one reason and many investors are starting to argue that GE Vernova deserves a textile valuation multiple, not an industrial one. Importantly, the stock recently pulled back roughly 15%, largely due to market rotation rather than any deterioration in fundamentals. NVIDIA's decision to host a power summit only reinforces the importance of what GE Vernova provides. If AI expansion is being constrained by electricity availability, turbine manufacturers and grid builders move from background players to center stage. GE Vernova is not selling hype, it is selling capacity, speed, speed, and reliability, exactly what AI factories require. In a world where compute is abundant but power is scarce, GE Vernova is becoming one of the most strategically important companies in the entire AI supply chain. From near-term power solutions, the story now transitions to the long-term structural answer to NVIDIA's energy problem. And that brings us to Oklo, ticker symbol OKLO. Oklo is not a traditional nuclear company. It is building small, next-generation nuclear reactors designed for a future where AI data centers need constant, dense, always-on power. These are reactors built not for legacy grids, but for AI campuses, defense installations, and industrial hubs where reliability matters more than anything else. While Oklo's stock is still up sharply year-to-date, it has fallen more than 50% from its recent highs, resetting expectations and materially improving the risk-reward profile. And what changed beneath the surface is far more important than the price action. The most critical development is regulatory. Oklo's selection for the U.S. Department of Energy's reactor pilot program fundamentally altered its timeline. Instead of waiting years for full commercial licensing before building, Oklo can now begin construction while NRC licensing continues in parallel. In December, the DOE approved a key safety document allowing Oklo to begin fuel fabrication work at Idaho National Laboratory. That means Oklo is no longer a concept. It is constructing nuclear infrastructure today. Fuel has always been the Achilles heel of advanced nuclear, and this is where Oklo quietly built a moat. The company is using legacy government fuel in the near term, enrichment partnerships in the medium term, and plans to vertically integrate 
integrate fuel fabrication long-term. This diversified approach significantly reduces one of the biggest scaling risks facing Generation 4 nuclear. Financially, Oklo is unusually well-positioned. With roughly $1.2 billion in cash and minimal operating burn, the company has years of runway to execute without relying on constant dilution. That shifts the investment debate away from survival and toward execution. Valuation looks extreme today because revenue lags assets, but consensus forecasts show a sharp step function increase once reactors come online in the early 2030s. If NVIDIA's AI factories truly become permanent industrial infrastructure, dedicated nuclear power stops being optional, and Oklo becomes a strategic solution to a problem the grid cannot solve alone. To complete the picture, we move from cutting-edge reactors to national-scale execution, and that brings us to NextEra Energy, ticker symbol NEE. NextEra is not just the largest utility in the United States, it is arguably the most strategically positioned. As AI data centers multiply, the US is racing to close what some analysts call the global electron gap, particularly against China, which has built massive, flexible, and cheap power infrastructure. NextEra is at the center of America's response. What separates NextEra from traditional utilities is speed. Solar, wind, and battery storage projects can be deployed far faster than new nuclear or coal plants, and NextEra leads the US in all three. As of the latest quarter, the company reported nearly 30 gigawatts of backlog across renewables and energy storage, with battery systems emerging as one of the fastest growing demand drivers. Crucially, NextEra is already monetizing the AI boom. The company has secured multi-gigawatt power purchase agreements with hyperscalers including Google and Meta, locking in long-term demand tied directly to data center expansion. These contracts provide earnings visibility that few utilities can match. Management recently raised its 2025 and 2026 earnings guidance and now targets at least 8% annual EPS growth through 2035, alongside a 6% dividend growth rate through 2028. That combination of growth and income is rare in the utility sector. Beyond renewables, NextEra also operates one of the largest gas and nuclear fleets in the country and has built more transmission capacity than nearly the entire industry combined over recent years. Transmission is often the hidden bottleneck in AI power delivery, and NextEra already owns that advantage. Yes, the stock trades at a premium to utilities, but this is not a bond-like utility. It is a power platform positioned to benefit from AI, electrification, reshoring, and rising grid demand for decades. If NVIDIA's next challenge is securing electricity at scale, NextEra is already solving that problem. The takeaway from all of this is simple but powerful. The AI revolution is no longer limited by intelligence, it is limited by infrastructure. NVIDIA understands this, which is why power has moved to the center of the conversation. GE Vernova represents the fast response solution, turbines, grids, and immediate capacity. Oklo represents the long-term structural answer, dedicated nuclear power for a world where AI never sleeps. And next era represents scale, the ability to deploy power nationwide, quickly, and profitably. This is how capital rotates when a trillion dollar industry hits a hard wall, not away from AI, but deeper into its foundations. The next phase of AI leadership will not be determined only by who builds the fastest chips, but by who keeps the lights on. And as Nvidia's next bottleneck becomes clearer, the opportunity for investors willing to look one layer deeper becomes impossible to ignore.